instructional rounds was a completely new idea for me. And what it means is a school-wide approach where a diverse group of teachers and administrators come together for the purpose of examining a problem of practice. For a lot of educators, the word problem is a problem and they prefer the word challenge. But we've really embraced the word problem because if you have a problem, you're going to look for a solution. I think at this point we're just trying to get a lot of information as to whether there is a problem of practice because we started out with a lot of us from the senior school thinking that there was a lot of student reliance on teacher direction. Like, what, what do I have to learn? What's on the test? What, what, always asking these things. And so we started off with this quest to find out, is this the case? And keep in mind the focus questions. You know, what are the students doing? What are the teacher's responses to students' questions? And what is the task at hand? And once we're clear on what we're doing, we're given a schedule about where we're going. And we go into about four or five classrooms. And we're there for 20 minutes just to get a little snapshot of what's going on. And then what you do is you, you literally walk into the classroom at the time and the moment that it's occurring. And for the next 15 minutes, you are just looking and observing and writing. And the hope is that with the three or four of you in the classroom, you can create a pretty good picture uh, of what's happening in that classroom. Once we've gathered that data, we come together, usually over a nutritious lunch, and we start to write down our observations. It's really important that our observations don't have any judgments attached to them, so that it is just purely what did you hear and what did you see. Data that we feel is beneficial in helping us understand our problem of practice gets posted onto a piece of paper. Then we rotate through. And at this point, as a member of another group, I can look at their data and also then begin a process of sort of paring down that data, ask some different questions, and make some notes about, you know, this data isn't helpful. Two smaller groups come together to form a larger group, and they start to pattern or theme the observations based again on that problem of practice. Yeah, then they have to write pattern statements. So based on observation, again, no judgment, just based on the observation, what are some statements that are emerging from the patterns that they saw? What does it tell us about getting an education at St. Michael's? And that, that part is the part that's the real education for the people who've been involved because looking for broad and common themes without being judgmental and without getting caught up in little details of what you've actually seen is a learning exercise. As we ran the pilot this year, we were just wanting to really see, could this practice even work well at St. Michael's? And, and in working well, what does that actually mean for us here? We found that it, it is a powerful practice, particularly for those involved, but even for the classrooms that we visited and the feedback from some of the teachers there. What we're hoping for going forward is just to continue to build this as a practice in our schools. We need to see it not as a separate initiative so much, but as a, as a process for us to forward some of the areas that we want to emphasize in our strategic plan. And I think most importantly, it's, it's a really awesome process for teachers to collaborate together. And certainly I think those that have participated this year would, would echo that. Their own sort of academic game, if you will, has been raised and, uh, and they're keen to look at not only their own classroom, but the school as a whole as we forward our, our learning of our students. Mm -hmm.